Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlights, and I'm going to take you through how to update the personality libraries inside Titan. For this example, I'm going to use the Titan Go interface, and it is very similar on the consoles themselves. Uh, on a console, you'll get a little notification that says your personalities are six months or older out of date. It's not a major thing and it doesn't affect your show, which is why you have the option to postpone on the bottom right of your touchscreen. However, fixing it takes less than 10 minutes and we highly encourage that you keep your personalities up to date just for when you have that last minute panic during a show. To update your personality libraries on the Titan Go interface, the first thing that you'd need to do is find yourself a computer and jump onto the Averlights website personalities.avalites.com and you can see here I've got the option to download the Titan fixture library. If you're wanting to update your console's personality library then I'd suggest save as and saving onto a USB stick. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop for now. As soon as this is downloaded you will have an installer sat there. I'm going to close my Titan so that I can use this installer nice and quickly. Now I have this downloaded on my desktop. I can double click on it and I can run through the installer. If you're working on a console, all you need to do is make sure this is saved onto your memory stick and plug it into the console. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. On your console itself, on the very top left hand side of any screen that you've got, you'll have a button that says Tools. After you've put this personality library onto a USB stick and plugged it in, you can tap that Tools button on the top left hand side of the screen. You'll then have an option inside there which says Titan Installers. Titan will automatically detect that you have got a personality library installer on that USB stick. Follow the steps on the screen and it'll install it for you. At the moment, we're updating the personality library every couple of days. So when it says that it's six months out of date, it's actually a more substantial thing than you might expect. You can see on this Titan Go interface, it's installing the final section. It's installing the capture library. So this will be the most up-to-date virtual fixtures that we can use in the internal visualizer. As soon as this is completed, you can start Titan up as normal. After your personality library has fully installed, then you can start Titan once again. This will not change any of your show files or the way that they have worked. It has just updated the fixtures that you can access in the patch menu of your console. This means that this show that is loading up at the moment, this has got all of those out of date personalities, all of those ones before, because we haven't told the console to change them. If I go into patch, I can say edit fixtures. Soft key B here says update personality. As soon as I press update personality, it's gonna have a look inside the personality library and see the date of every single one of these fixtures. It's then gonna have a look inside this show file and have a look at the date of all of these fixtures. If the ones inside Titan are more up to date than the ones inside this show file, it's gonna give me an option. Update personality on soft key B. This means as and when I'm ready, I can update all of the personalities inside this show file. You'll have a soft key that says update all personalities that might take a couple of minutes, or you can update just one individual fixture type within this show file. As soon as you're done, you'll be using the most up-to-date personalities inside your show. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.